the trees. From the sun, they gave shade. From the wind, they gave shelter. They filtered the water, kept the soil from washing away. They gave us life, but between two trees. Now the trees are so far from each other. I am Vavzez, teller of the 13th caravan of the Makar, the only one still living. As it was for the 12 before us, our mission was to plant a new tree, to serve as a city for climatic refugees. We joined the many who failed in their task. May our experience serve you well, for it is now you, the 14th caravan, who are tasked with continuing the work of the Makar. Escort your botanists to the ends of the world. Create a new haven that the caravan that follows you may go even further and continue our quest for knowledge that will one day allow the 15th, the 16th, the 100th to repair the ancient folly that made this world hostile to life. As one Makar proverb says, for newborns, the sun has always existed. They do not know it only just appeared. For us, the expanse of chaotic weather known as the Fithi has always existed, yet it is only three centuries old. That is enough, however, to forget the pleasant weather of antifithic legends, the shade of Umama, mother of all trees. To recover this mythical past, the Makar tribe sent caravans into the Fithi on a one-way trip east. It was their foolhardy hope that the lost Umama be found, as only Umama could restrain the Fithi.
In truth, caravanners could not reach Umama. No one could. These trips were simply meant to expand their knowledge of the world, the Fithi, and other tribes. Then, to use homing scarabs to send all these memories back to the Crystal Library. However, as time passed, hope was waning, like nature in the desert. This sacrifice was proving too much. The Makar needed a sign. A sign such as this. We call it a fragment, an ancient artifact belonging to an ancient tribe, destroyed by the Fithi, who would carve their history in stone. If the caravans could find more, we might learn what circumstances created the Fithi, and thus, how to beat it.